Hello, this is Dr. Groover. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a uh, type of injury that we see really regularly in our clinic, and that is a repetitive stress injury. And a repetitive stress injury is an injury to your muscle, your nerve, or your joint that's usually caused by repetitive stress. Now, repetitive stress is something like a uh, swinging of a golf club over and over or, or swinging a tennis racket over and over again with uh, the golf club type repetitive stress you'll get a pain on the inside of the elbow called golfer's elbow and on the with the tennis racket you'll get a pain on the outside of the elbow called tennis elbow. Uh, there's also a condition called carpal tunnel syndrome which is basically the overuse of the wrists and the uh, stress that occurs uh, closing down or clamping down on the median nerve that supplies the thumb and the first one and a half fingers or two fingers of your hand. Um, there are other injuries that come about by playing, for instance, video games called gamer's thumb. There's also blackberry thumb or iPod thumb. or <laughs> uh, There's a Rubik's Cube uh, thumb that comes about from uh, playing with the Rubik's Cube too much. Um, there's a raver's wrist that comes about when people go to raves and they wave uh, a light stick around all night long. Another source of repetitive stress injury is uh, forceful exertions like uh, pitching, throwing a hundred miles an hour all night and uh, sometimes the pitcher will throw out their arm or their shoulder. Um, there's weightlifting uh, weightlifting, for instance, uh, bench pressing and having so much weight that you can't really stabilize your shoulder and the arm gets pushed onto the back side of the, of the shoulder socket and it gets stuck in that position. Um, there's vibration injuries that occur from repetitive stress. Uh, we had a man visit here that was a worker on the railroad uh, and uh, he spent a lot of time on freight trains with lots of vibration and he ended up with some serious low back injuries. Uh, there are mechanical compression type repetitive stress injuries such as um, ladies wearing beautiful high heel shoes that squeeze their toes together and, and misalign their foot and their toes and can give them bunions. There's um, sustained and awkward positions a sustained position is like talking with your phone on your shoulder or sleeping face down with or belly down with your face twisted over to the side. Um, there's a lot of stress on the on the spinal joints when you do that. Um, a sustained awkward position also would involve uh, looking down all the time, hunched over a desk studying or working on assignments or working as an adult. So. Um, Sleeping with your head forward, in other words, lying back on a bed with thick pillows and having your head pushed in a forward position and having your uh, spinal joints getting stuck in that position. Now treatments for these kinds of conditions usually include, in the medical model, include things like uh, anti-inflammatory drugs and braces and, and splints and basically trying to immobilize and rest the joint, give it a chance to recover. Um, another way of dealing with this is to eliminate the all activity altogether or suspend the activity altogether or modify how you do the activity so you don't get those types of injuries. Now one of the areas that we see that's sorely missing in the treatment of repetitive stress injury is just the diagnosis and treatment of the joint misalignments that go along with these injuries. Now in chiropractic, uh, we're very skilled at diagnosing spinal joint misalignments and repositioning those joints to take the stress off the joint and allow the injury to heal. Uh, we also uh, treat these injuries uh, using a very specific therapeutic exercise to help strengthen the muscles and balance the muscles to prevent the spine or your extremity joints from being uh, misaligned chronically or misaligning easily. Now in this article that is associated with this video uh, 
it's published on my e-zine. Uh, you can find it by going to www.grooverclinic.com. Groover is just like groovy with a ER at the end. Uh, you go there and you can find that article uh, pertaining to uh, being crunched forward in a C position from riding in a sports car bucket seat. And my wife and I did that for six days this summer down in my home state of Florida. And uh, we spent a lot of time having fun there, but the uh, long rides with the vibrations associated with the rides actually took quite a toll on Karen's uh, spinal joints and her hip joints. And it took about two months of regular care to get that all cleared out and get her back to normal. So even something as simple as sitting in a car seat can really injure you severely. So my advice is to avoid repetitive stress injuries and if you have been exposed to uh, repetitive stress and you think that uh, you want to avoid future complications from any kind of injuries that may have occurred there, even before symptoms appear, symptoms of stiffness or pain, even before they appear, uh, go and have your joints checked out by a qualified person who can uh, effectively uh, diagnose and treat these things and have them eliminated before they become symptomatic repetitive stress injuries. So best of health and wellness.